Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I am Rajnikant and today's video will discuss Spring Boot Actuator. Okay, so what is actuator and how we'll gonna use this in our application. Okay, so if you have not subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe it immediately and hit the bell icon to get all the notifications from my side. If you see, this is my channel and here a lot of uh, videos regarding Git and JUnit, CRUD application, code coverage, right? All those stuffs are there. You can, if you are really interested, you can uh, go through go through those videos as well, right? So let's start today's topic. Okay, so uh, in current days, uh, everywhere you'll see this buzz, right? Microservices, Spring Boot application, right? So suppose we have developed a Spring Boot application. Okay, then here the question arises, how you will gonna monitor that application? Yes or no? So how will gonna monitor? Because lot of microservices will be there, small, small Spring Boot applications will be there. So then that time, how will gonna monitor those application? Okay, so if you think monitor means what? Monitoring means what? What it does? So what it indicates? So monitoring means it's a kind of how we'll check whether your application is off or not how we'll check different beans it's got created how we'll check what are all those environment things where your application is running right so lot of other things are there to check right so how will do those stuffs in your application for your application right so it's a pretty tedious job right if you will develop by your own maybe it will take some uh, some years to uh, to develop the entire stuffs right so but spring boot provides an awesome feature known as actuator right so this actuator if you we'll implement this actuator in your application it will provides predefined endpoints for those details to get those details right so actuator, if you we'll implement that actuator, it will provide some predefined endpoints to check your health and monitor other parameters as well. Right. So this is that basic actuator and it's pretty simple also simple. I mean, you know, we do have a web starter. We do have a data JPS starter like this. That actuator is there. If you will add this actuator in your uh, pom.xml, then by default, those endpoints will be enabled for us and we can use those stuff right so i uh, hope you got that basic idea now let's quickly develop a sample application for our references and definitely i will up, uh, i will upload that uh, project into my git account and, and i will give that one in description section and we can leverage that one i am opening my uh, favorite id that uh, IntelliJ. it's a community version and it's a free you can, uh, sorry, you can use IntelliJ IDEA or uh, Spring Tool Suit, uh, whatever uh, comfortable, which one is comfortable to you. So, uh, IntelliJ IDEA is pretty awesome and good. Let's wait, it's starting. So, we're gonna create a Spring Boot starter project. Just wait for some time. It's opening some project. Just hold a second. Okay. So new um, project. So here Spring Assistant. This is that plugin I have installed. Java version 1.8 will take. So uh, this one actuator, right? S-E-T-U-A-T-U-R actuator group ID S-E-T-U actuator spring boot actuator spring boot actuator okay and here project name also will give the same one description uh sorry Spring Boot actuator will put it here as well. Okay. Then some uh, uh, what is the spec case name? Com dot 
x rater s e t u a t u r okay here we go and java uh, this is the language java package install jar and we, we can take java 8 11 also i have installed but let's take java 8 so here what are the things we'll take uh spring boot dev tools i will take web i will take and actuator a c t u spring boot actuator okay so here we go we ha i have taken those uh, starters let's finish this uh, new window will open this project it will take a few seconds to generate that project and resolving those dependencies let's wait for some time so you will get this uh, this uh, question in interviews as well so how will monitor your uh, applications uh, whether it's a production or it's a, a any uh, any uh, lower environment and uh, lower environments like uh, dev qa uat stays right so you can monitor so application it's got generated let's see in the pom.xml what are the uh, starters it's got generated spring boot starter actuator is there web starter is there and dev tools is there right so let's go to our code so this is that main class now let's create uh, one package to create some uh, controller to create some dummy controller so let's create one controller mm, some employee mploy employee controller this is uh, for sample add the rest controller let's quickly do public i'm returning some string get employ okay so here i am returning return what will do employ data return okay this is for dummy some i mean uh, to check our application whether it's working or not so now here at the rate get mapping and we'll provide some simple url here e m p l o y -E. okay control alt l so here we go uh, our simple application got generated here we'll uh, give that port number server dot port dot T equal to what is the port number we'll take suppose 9090 here we go now let's run this one and we'll, and we'll see what are that uh, actuator endpoints we are getting application is running let me open meanwhile let me open postman so postman is that client to test our APIs uh, if you are a beginner and you don't know then uh, uh, this postman is a client to call our apis or test our apis uh, simple plugin is there in uh, chrome you can install or else a standalone also you can install so here our application is running on 9090 and uh, what are those actuator endpoints are enabled so two endpoints are enabled in actuator a lot of endpoints are there but only two are enabled right so we'll see let's remove this one 9090 actuator okay so if you see those are that endpoints it's got enabled right so this is that x sorry so these are the endpoints it's got enabled right if you see here actuator slash health actuator slash info and this is the actuator this is the base url kind of thing right so only but lot of other endpoints are there right so by default those endpoints will not enable 
right so one by one by one we'll discuss but now let's see how we can enable all those endpoints right so for that one we need to specify one property in in application dot properties okay so what is that property this one this property will vary from a uh, spring boot version so this is for 2x version spring boot 2x version so management dot endpoint dot web dot exposure dot include equal to star means all those endpoints it will enable now let's check okay let's restart this application i am not sure this dev tools is working or not okay application got stopped let me start it again yes 9090 just see earlier it was two bin sorry uh, two endpoints now it's exposing 13 endpoints right so let's check it again just see here only two endpoints were there health and info now let's again check just see here lot of endpoints are there now let's uh let's we'll go through one by one so actuator so we are hitting actuator this is the base url so it will return whatever those endpoints uh for monitoring for monitoring whatever those endpoints are enabled here so if you'll see a lot of endpoints are present present over here right now let's see beans so beans means what are that spring beans it's got generated right in our application what are the beans it's present b e a n s let's hit enter the c those spring beans we are able to see right view resolver and uh, all those beans whatever spring got created right those beans here we can see instead of writing some extra program to see all those beans uh, with this actuator we can see all those beans hope you got it now let's see other things the main thing main one is health right always uh, always we should uh, check that health whether that application is running or not sometimes what will happen i mean um, you will deploy your code into qa environment but QA, will, qa people will say hey, hey this application is not working or something went wrong so that time frequently we need to check whether your app whether our application is up and running or not right so how we'll check here health status is off right so this is health now let's see other endpoints beans we have checked cache we, we do not have any cache otherwise uh, we can see those cache right environment will see right so here we'll get all that environment details right that server dot port it's saying 9090 port it's running and system properties uh, here java where is that java path java version and uh, all those details here if you see we are getting right country india and lot of other details we are able to see those all that environment details uh, that what is that os name and all those details that library path will get it from here right so so this is that overall idea about uh, actuator right you i will give all those information i mean those document things spring documentation things in um, description section and uh, and moreover i will give that uh, git url link to uh, to access this uh, code so definitely it will help you people and if you want to explore more you can explore by your own right so hope you uh, i mean hope you uh, got it a little bit about uh, this actuator what is this right so if you have uh, really uh, like this video please uh, do like and definitely do a comment it will boost me to upload some uh, more videos like this right so thanks for watching